This guide outlines the setup and deployment of the RN100 analytic node appliance. Complete only after registering and scheduling an engagement at www.risknetworks.com. After submitting your scheduling request, use the Active Assessments log to post questions to the Risk Network's Advanced Service Team. Connect power supply to the input on the back of the RN100. Insert an Ethernet cable into LAN0 on the back of the RN100 and the other end to your network. The RN100 requires unrestricted outbound SSL TCP port 443 access to Risk Network's NOC for proper functionality. Boot up the RN100 with the power switch on the back of the appliance. Normal boot up takes approximately 5 minutes during which time the LCD screen will shut off and reinitialize. This is normal and does not indicate error. Do not power off the appliance during initialization. Once fully booted, LCD will display Main Menu. Run the Bootstrap application by inserting the Risk Network's USB drive into a computer attached to your network. If the application does not automatically launch, browse to the USB window and launch riskappliancebootstrap.exe. Complete the questions as prompted by the Bootstrap application wizard. It will prompt you to select assessment type. Complete information as needed for network interface configuration. Next, enter SNMP read strings configured within your network. If choosing unified communication or data center assessments, Additional info regarding CUCM and VMware credentials will be required. And Windows credentials for each domain. And click Finish. Then, remove the USB drive and proceed to Step 3. Main menu should appear on the LCD screen before inserting the USB drive into the appliance. Insert the Risk Network's USB drive into either input in front of the RN100. Begin the bootstrap process by toggling the lower arrow button to Manage Appliance. Press the center check button once to select and again to select Bootstrap RN100. Then, press the center check button twice more to start the bootstrap process. During this process, the LCD screen will display the status. Once you see the display, Risk Communication Success, on-site requirements are complete. If appliance does not power up or screen says, failed, proceed to troubleshooting steps. RN100 setup and deployment is now complete. For troubleshooting information for the RN100, proceed to the next steps. Issue number one. Bootstrapped RN100 displays the message, Risk Communication Failed. Determine the IP address of the appliance. Try to ping the RN100 from another node. If you cannot ping it, confirm the network connection and confirm that the switch port is configured correctly for VLAN. Verify that the RN100 has a valid default gateway and verify the DNS server. If the RN100 is on the network and ICMP reachable, verify that you have proper internet access using another computer. Using the same switch port as the RN100, configure your computer with the same IP address, default gateway, and DNS server as was used on the RN100. If you can reach risknetworks.com from your computer, but the RN100 LCD screen still shows risk communication failed after rebootstrapping, please follow the procedure to produce an error log file and email it to support at risknetworks.com.
email it to support at risknetworks.com. Issue number two. The RN100 appliance doesn't appear to boot. Wait 45 seconds for the LCD screen to power on. Complete boot up takes approximately five minutes, ending with the main menu prompt. The LCD display will go blank during initializing. Do not power off the appliance during this process. If the LCD does not light up within 45 seconds, verify the power source and connections. If the power source is verified, remove the USB or network cables plugged into the appliance and try to boot again. If you need assistance, contact your local representative or Risk Network Service Team at 1-866-808-1227, Option 1, or email to support at risknetworks.com. Risk Network's Business Technology Analytics. Your technology. Analyzed. Optimized.